Today we're going to make a quick video about how expensive Cyprus is and I want to show you what the average and local food is going to cost. So we're not going to cover foreign food, we're just going to cover local food here at a supermarket. Let's begin. My name is Igor Tatilniko, explorer adventure and a guy who ends up in some interesting places. With a degree in journalism and filmmaking, I travel to the ends of the earth investigating the greatest places in the world. This is Igor Travels the World. Here we have pita bread between one and two euros. Here we have some traditional chocolate for 1.7 euros. Here we have traditional feta cheese between 3 euros and down to, yeah, about 3 euros per. Here we have some traditional halloumi cheese, which I like, for 2.5 euro. Here we have some goat and sheep yogurt, here you can see, and that costs 1.5 euros. A 12 pack of eggs, it is 2 euros and 29. If you want to buy a 6 pack, it's 1.5 euro. A liter and a half of water, it is 45 cents cookies or biscuits they cost one and a half euro local beer it's one and a half euro for a big bottle and then down to about one euro twenty for a small can small bottle All right. so guys I just bought a few items not that much and the total came to 10 euros even so I got some toilet paper some pita bread some uh, goat and cheese or whatever and some uh, bubble gum. That's enough. Let's go. So we decided to drop by and get some dessert because it's my friend Michael's birthday. And I just wanted to tell you that a hot chocolate with whipped cream and a delicious, delicious chocolate cake. <clears throat> Plus he got an identical one of uh, Americano and some milk. And it totally came out to 14 euro and 35 cents. Let me show you. I'd like to show you what some typical apartments and houses cost here. So this one here is two bedrooms, 80 square meters for 212,000 in the center of Larnaca, which is where we are now. Look at this house here, six bedrooms, 530 meters, or actually you get 640 meters because they're including the overall plot for 1.7 million euro, which Judging by like places where I live, like Prague, this is actually not that expensive at all. I mean, especially for this one, a two-bedroom, 80-meter apartment in Prague would cost you 450,000 euros and up. And especially if you're in the center over near the castle or in what's considered like the center downtown, it would easily be three to four times as much as this price. So it actually seems like it's not that expensive to live, but I think the reason why is if you take into account the average salaries here and the average struggles the locals probably have, then in fact this is a lot of money. But for foreigners coming here, it could not be a lot. Which is also why I think a lot of the property here I've seen is owned by foreigners or foreign companies. Look at this one, this one is just gorgeous. Now this is not sea or ocean view, but you have a pool, it's five bedrooms, 420 meters of actual house, but the whole plot, the whole land is over 2,000 meters. It's 2,300 meters for 1.45 million euro. That's not that much money when you take into account that this same house could cost five or six million euro in Prague or who knows how much in London or in, in France. I mean, this is crazy. If you want to take a bus from Larnaca to Nicosia, for example, it's seven euros round trip and the schedule is right here. So it only takes about an hour and 15 minutes. It's really quick, really easy to take it from right here in Larnaca on the Funikuris, the main street next to the sea. 